Hey guys, this is David with ATEC for Android. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about Floating 2 Player and Floating Light for Facebook. If I've caught your attention, stay tuned. I'm going to show you exactly what these apps can do. Welcome back, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go into YouTube, I'm sorry, not YouTube, I'm gonna go into the Google Play Store and show you this application right here, it's called Floating Tube. I'm also gonna show you the Facebook light on the Google Play Store. First, I'm gonna go over this real quick. It's 100,000 downloads, rating 4.1. It's been updated on January 27th, 2017. And just to show you, it is all legit. Now, I've been using this application for at least six months, and if not more, um, I'm still highly satisfied with the application. I still use it on a daily basis, and it really does help me with multitasking as well. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open up Floating Tube right now, and I'm going to show you exactly how to work this application. It's fairly simple. Yes, you are going to have apps every once in a while, pretty much like Zedge would have their uh, ads running when you're looking through it. So you don't have to worry about ads constantly freaking messing with you when you have this app open. So now that we open the YouTube floating uh, application, I'm going to go ahead and just click on the very first video real quick so I can give you an idea how this works. So we're going to go ahead and click on it. And then you're going to have the box pop up. You can hit the home key and you can go ahead and move the box around like this. And if you leave it, say right there, and you want to go on to your next page of your device, as you can see, the floating box is not going to go anywhere unless you move it on your own. So the X right here, obviously everyone's going to know that by looking at it, that's pretty much the exit, the floating window. The one line in the box is to minimize it. The four arrows inside the box on each side, pretty much if I click on it, you can maximize the floating tube a lot bigger. If you click that box again, it brings it back down to the small version window size. Now if you click the arrow inside the box, it's going to take you inside floating tube player itself. So if you guys decide you want to watch another video and you can do that, just click on your next video, the floating tube is going to still be present. Again, you can move it around and whatnot. Now, if we go into the floating tube plug application itself and we'll close this box out, you're gonna have three options down below where you can have no ads. The little gear icon in the middle is your settings. So we go into settings. It's pretty much gonna show you minimize player. You can have it selected on medium, small, or large, okay? Also, it's gonna teach you how to use it. Uh, you can share the application you can get more apps from this developer. You can rate it, contact them for any questions or whatnot, and of course the disclaimer. If we go back out of settings and we go to no ads, right here is gonna give you an option to buy this pro version so you don't have to worry about the ads itself. Hit the arrow key to go back one, and if you hit the little box with a V on it with little lines going across, um, it's gonna take you into audiobooks. So if you guys are interested in what that was, this is your answer, okay? Go ahead and hit the play button, I'm sorry, the back button, and it takes you back in the floating tube. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back to my home screen. Again, guys, um, this floating tube player could do whatever you want it to do with the options that are given, okay? Again, if you swipe your screens left and right on your device, the box is not gonna go anywhere. Now, the other cool thing with this is if you don't wanna go into settings onto the floating tube player itself, you can always enlarge the floating tube player um, like so. On the bottom right hand side, you're gonna see a black and red uh, stripes. If you press on that and you drag, sorry, go back to my home key, sorry. If you press on it and drag it a little bit, you can actually enlarge the player like so, okay? And you can go ahead and shrink it down if you want to or whatnot. But if you don't want to do it this way, you can go into the settings itself. So I think this is a really cool app, you know, and it really does help me, especially when I multitask. And if I don't want to have to go into the YouTube itself, I can just 
you know, use this floating tube player, and I could be happy with this too. Now, the last thing that's cool about this application is if you're watching, um, whatever, it doesn't matter what video you're watching, if you're watching a music video and you don't want to watch the video, but you would like just to hear the music, what you can do, and I'm going to show you how it works. If you hit the play button. And I'm going to pause it real quick, and I'm going to show you without talking, so check this out. And as you can see, I can listen to the video in the background, and I can go ahead and do my normal activities. Uh, it doesn't matter what application I have running, this floating two player in the background is still going to run. It's not going to interfere in any of your other activities. Now, this does not drain battery life, and it does not make your device, um, you know, lag. But if you're at 5.1 or lower it might just do that so if you have marshmallow plus you'll be okay now I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of here and I'm gonna jump right into the floating light for Facebook now this is the same exact thing as floating two player okay so you go ahead and you click on it and it's gonna have this now once you open this up it's gonna ask you to log in with your uh, password and username okay this also has ads but doesn't have a lot either now once you go into your Facebook account, when you log in through the web, on the bottom here you're going to have options. On the very far left, the bottom three lines, that's pretty much your settings to your, your friend requests, your messages, and the notifications, and your profile, etc. You hit it again, it closes it out. If you were on another page on Facebook, if you hit the back arrow on this app, uh, the Facebook light, it takes you back to your previous uh, page that you're in. Now, the two little boxes that are on top of each other, if you select that, it actually brings the floating tube player on Facebook. So if you hit the home key and you go back into your desktop of your device, as you can see, it does the exact same thing as floating tube player itself. Now, same, it's, same rules applies if you want to enlarge it, just go ahead and hit the box with each arrows in the corner and it brings and enlarges back into Facebook app itself. Now if you hit the back button one more time, as you notice it's not going to do anything, so if you have any issues on the bottom where your home keys are at, and if you see your actual wallpaper, you want to go ahead and just exit out and just reopen back up and then on the bottom everything's filled in with as far as that gap that you just saw okay now the little arrow that's going up in the bottom next to the gear icon if you click this and as you can see there's nothing really going on with that so I don't understand the concept of why they had this here it doesn't do anything now the actual gear icon is the actual settings into the floating light for Facebook again same concept as YouTube floating uh, settings where you can have the button size to medium, large, or small. So you can expand that floating tube player to be as big or small as you want. You can have it open external link. You can share the app, so forth and so forth. If you want to go back out of settings, again, you can go through your Facebook like it's nothing. And if you want to go ahead and have the floating tube, just go ahead and hit the two uh, icon. I'm sorry, the icon on the bottom where it has it looks like two boxes on top of each other. Hit the home button, it brings you back in to floating tube light. Now on the bottom right hand side, again, if you see a white and black checker uh, logo on the bottom of this box, you can drag it to expand it, and it will make it big. Or you can go ahead and shrink it back down to normal size to whatever you want. And if you're having issues with this doing it manually you can go in into settings and you can enlarge it so you'll have better uh, finger gestures so it won't be so difficult to enlarge it or shrink it down other than that guys um that's pretty much it with these two applications um like i said i do use these applications on a regular basis um if you're interested in these two applications, what I'm going to go ahead and do is leave the links in the bottom description box. You can go check them out. If you did like this video, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. You guys can follow me on Instagram at TechNerd82. And you can follow me on Google+. Plus. I have my own community called Tech Lounge, so go check that out. But other than that, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll be talking to you guys soon. Peace.